Wow, wow, wow. It's so, so good to be here once more again. I'm very happy to be here once more again. You all are welcome once again to the Live as Love World Message Studio. And this channel brings you all gospel G's all around the world. And this channel also brings you all reaction messages from our dear man of God, Raven the Chris, or you me. And if this is your first time coming across this channel, and you don't want to miss videos like this that were posted on this channel, and kindly do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video so on this message uh we're going to be having two video dropping on this particular episode and the first video we're going to be having a man of god living at the quiz or you're killing me talking about something that is going to happen in the month of may that we all should be very careful about and you're also going to be talking about the world leaders and this video is really need to be shared i really want you all to be sh to share this video so that those leaders in those countries can also learn and the second video we are also going to be having some great men of god talking about the disunity in the body of christ so i really want you all to watch this video to the end for there is something that's really important and really vital for you all to learn on this video so please make sure you watch this video to the end and don't only watch this video to the end make sure you share this video so that others also can learn something from this video please share this video for it's the only way it's one of those ways we can share the gospel of christ all around the world and it also help this channel to grow thank you all and keep watching that's why they're planning in the month of may which is next month to get nations to sign their sovereignty to the Secretary General, these leaders. He's given power, full authority, because he's asking for more. Like what you're seeing with the, with the World Health Organization today, demanding, asking to be given more power. You think they're there for health. Well, that's what they were supposed to be because that's what they told the world they were going to do. Well, they weren't there. They didn't establish themselves to save the world. They established themselves to control the world through health services. Not just health services, but health policies. I want you to remember that. They're not providing you health services. They're coming with health policies, policies of control. And that's why they're planning in the month of May, which is next month, to get nations to sign their sovereignty to the Secretary General of the World Health Organization so that he becomes a superpower in the world and control all the nations. Say, Pastor Chris, is that you? Read the document. Read the document. Read the document, the content of the treaty. They're calling for nations to give up their sovereignty. That's what's in that document. And they want the, sec the, the Secretary General of the World Health Organization or the Director General. I think he's called the Director General. So they want the Director General of the World Health Organization to have power over the nations. And he can declare whatever he wants to declare at any time and enforce it. You think he's going to really be doing that by himself? Uh oh, there are non-state actors that have positioned him and they are the ones who actually want to rule the world. And he's just going to be a puppet. And so the nations need to study that document and reject it in whole. They rejected it over a year ago and um, they plan to bring it back. And before bringing it back, they lobbied different countries. They lobbied them and try to see how they can just come and just rubber stamp. Haven't technically agreed in private. But I'm saying, say no. You got to say no. You got to say no. Because you sign that thing, you're losing your country. You're selling your country for nothing. You're selling your country. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. 
This is what it's always been about for a long time now. It's been about getting. Now, listen, if they get that sovereignty off of you, they take your land, they take your water, they take your food, they take everything that belongs to you. They take your army. What you're signing out is signing out your, your sovereignty. Your army will not be under you. Your police will not be under you. It will all be regulated and run from outside your country. Then you have no country. You have no country. That's what they want. You better know that's what I'm telling you. And so the Bible tells us how these 10, they're going to give their power to the beasts. Let's read again. Let's read again. In that, yeah. These have one mind. There is need for love, which you spoke about today, to return mm. back to the body of Christ. One of the scriptures you spoke about was powerful. Even if you have to correct people, it has to be in love. Speaking the truth in love. Very key. You understand? Mm. Now, no matter what and what and what, how do we bring about that unity in the body of Christ? In spite of our various revelation and calling, mm. how can we synchronize? Mm. Well, I think, um, number one, um, first of all, we need to understand the place of love. Mm. If we don't value it, if we don't see its significance, mm. if we don't place a premium on it, mm. we will not pay the price to mm. see it. So first of all, we need to trust God to help us see that we need each other. Mm. Because the mentality of isolated giants who can do all things by themselves is why we have undermined the place of love but jesus said the house divided against itself cannot stand so no matter the number of individual giants there are if we are not synergized there's nothing we can do True. so we must understand the significance and the place of love when we do that then virtues come in number one humility hmm. the reason i will undermine someone like pastor was sharing earlier as Oyemi Davis, pride. is because of pride. So yeah, much yeah. estimation of yourself. You are the biggest intercessor. You are the biggest prophet. You are the biggest apostle. So no other person matters. And so you have no regard for them. So I think humility must come to play. And then long suffering. Hmm. We are growing into perfection. Most people, I don't know if there's any perfect person, but I can say many are not perfect. And so there must be that place of forbearance. Jesus said, if your brother errs against you, you should forgive him. And Peter wanted to be sure. How many times should I forgive him in a day? And he said, 70 times, seven times. That's 490 times. What if you have 10 brothers? <laughs> so it, it takes a lot of forbearance to be able to walk in love. He said, we should bear one another's body. Then we fulfill the love of Christ. And then number three, we need to understand the benefits of unity. Jesus said, wherever two or three are gathered together in my name. He said, there I am in the midst of them. He said, whatever they bind on earth is bound in heaven. There are things we can't change no matter how much we pray as individuals. So if we understand the place and benefit of unity, I think we'll fight for it. And then number four, we should also begin to see people with the eyes of God. Mm. How God sees the woman them. was caught in, the, in, in, in adultery. Mm. Everybody wanted to stone her. Mm. It's not everything that's about right and wrong. Mm. There are certain things that's about mercy. Mm. There are certain things that's about forgiveness. Mm. So when, pe when we are addressing people, we should learn to see them how God sees them. If Jesus was the one, is this how he would approach this matter? Mm. You can imagine that everybody wanted to stone this woman. Only Jesus said, if you are without sin, cast the first stone. So on one side, you see that Jesus sees with the eyes of mercy. Mercy prevails over judgment. Mm. On the other side, Jesus also has equity and justice. Before you condemn somebody else, are you perfect? Mm. Because the problem we have is that we evaluate sin differently. We think some sin are bigger, heavier, others are than smaller. Now. But James 2.10 said, if you earn one, you earn all. Mm. So somebody who is not working in adultery assumes that every other person who is in adultery is a sinner. Whereas you are lying. You are exaggerating. Mm. You are manipulative. All of that is sin. Mm. So before you pass a harsh judgment on another person, check yourself. If God judges you the same way, will you stand? Mm. Because the Bible says, if God considers sin, no man will start. Yeah. So I think if we put some of these things in place and we are honest with ourselves, we would give room for love. Wow. I really hope you all enjoyed that wonderful episode. 
And if you want to support us in any way, we aren't as for much. It's just for you to do hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. And make sure you share our videos for it to help this channel to grow. Thank you all and stay tuned to wish you next time. We love you and God bless you.